Hi, my name is Natalie. Welcome back to my channel Diamond Painting by Nat. This is a video review of my second completed LED diamond painting and the name of the kit is Church. If you want to know more, stay with me. The name of the kit is Church. It was ordered from an American seller on the website shimmerstitch.com. I was more detailed about the seller and the website in the video number 7, where I was unboxing this LED kit, but I will leave the link to the seller's website in the description box below. The size of the painting is 40 by 50 cm, which I think is a pretty good size for the scenery. Besides, it doesn't have too many small objects, so it turned out very detailed and it doesn't look pixelated. The cost of the kit was $55, but it was a pre-order. The original price is around $95. The sale price after I ordered it increased to $69. I received this kit three days later after the item had shipped via priority mail. The kit was packed great. It was in a box. The canvas had two layers of protection cover, the kit itself was wrapped in a plastic bag, plus a film protecting the adhesive on the canvas. The kit included round resin drills, sorted out in zipper bags and numbered in chronological order. That made it very easy and fast to do the inventory. Besides, it saved me the whole evening that I usually spend on getting ready for my new projects by organizing the drills, sorting them out in the containers, labeling each box and etc. Here you can see how the drills were packed and labeled. It is very convenient.
The kit also came with a drill pen, inventory sheet, glue, drill gray, and tweezers. The kit did not include three AA batteries, and actually the package of this LED painting was very similar to the first one I made a review of a few months ago. The painting is pre-framed. The canvas is attached to the wood, hence there were no wrinkles on the canvas, no creases on the canvas, and there is no need to buy a frame, by the way. There were no air bubbles on the canvas, and it was perfectly smooth. The pasting area is full except of the windows, street light over here, and a little window here on top. There are 29 colors and I like how they were organized. All are reclassable bags, numbered, plus there is a DMC code on each. The symbol design is either numeric or alphabetic. The symbols were also sorted out in accordance with numeric or alphabetic chronological order. For example, symbol 1 was diamond painted with a color labeled as number 1 on a zipper bag, symbol 9 with the same number on the zipper bag, starting from letter A with color number 11, symbol B with color marked number 12, and etc. Please be advised that there is no symbol chart printed on the canvas, as it is usually done on other kits. You will find the chart on a separate inventory sheet. I would advise you to take a picture of it in case if it gets misplaced or lost, or you can write the symbols on the corresponding bags. Now, the quality of the drills. It is amazing almost no damaged ones and the colors are very beautiful and bright just look at that i diamond painted all this area and you know how many defective drills i have left here on the tray only those ones really very few you can count them on fingers literally very few damaged drills the adhesive was very strong the printing of the symbols is very clear. No grid lines, no tracing of the symbols in black circles. This way, all those lines are not seen through between the gaps. And there are the gaps. There are always the gaps when the round drills are used. Look at this symbol printing. Very, very clear. I could work on the skid just with one LED lamp in the evenings or with the sunlight during the day. Everything is of an excellent quality. Drills, canvas, adhesive. Although, as you probably already guessed, I made a few changes to the drills on this picture. I substituted certain resin drills colors that represent the ornaments on the Christmas tree with rhinestones. And I also diamond painted window frames and a part of the street light with crystal drills. Mostly the areas which are located next to the LED lights to make them more illuminated. Here there is a switch button on the edge of the diamond painting, so this way you do not have to take the painting down when you want to turn it on. So let's turn it on and see how it looks with the lights on. Ta-da! I tried to match the colors of the resin drills and rhinestones, and I think I managed to do it. I do like how it turned out. I do like how it looks with crystals. I actually like it more than with the regular drills. Look at that. The mix of rhinestones and regular drills is amazing. It gives the drills more illumination. The crystals. Look at that. Let me turn off the LED lights and look at the rhinestones without it. Look at these beautiful crystals. Look at that. The window frames, the wreath, the ornaments on the wreath, the street light. Now, do you remember the challenge I had with my previous LED kit with a plastic film to be exact? Here is a short extract from that video for those of you who either didn't see it or don't remember it.
So the lesson was learned. I kept the film on the edges over here, over here, over here, so it won't get dusty and dirt won't get accumulated on them because those areas are not sticky. Now, thanks to a lot of practice, removing of this plastic film was a piece of cake. But of course, only with the help of this precision cutter. But for it, I wouldn't be able to do that. For those of you who are planning on doing LED diamond paintings, I highly recommend buying this cutter. And it will also be useful with parchment paper. Now, as to the cons of the kit, I didn't really have any issues with it. But there are two things that I would like the kit to have different. First is the reflection of the windows. It looks very unnatural when three vertical lighted windows are reflected in the shape of a rectangle. Or I'd better not have LED lights on those areas at all, or any that are diamond painted except of the Christmas tree. I personally prefer LED lights only on those parts which are partial and not diamond painted, such as windows and a street light. I think that LED lights look much better on those areas that do not have drills on them. The second thing I'd like to have changed is the adhesive on the partial parts, which are not diamond painted. For me, it doesn't make any sense to have those areas sticky, since the drills are not placed on those parts. And this is the second LED kit that has the same thing, having adhesive all over the canvas, even on the partial areas. I mean, it isn't a big deal, but if somebody doesn't notice it, a lot of dust and dirt can get accumulated there. And since the kit isn't framed under the glass once completed, it will get even more dusty. And again, not a big deal since it is easy to fix. Either leave a film on those areas. For example, there was adhesive on the windows and on the street light. So to fix this problem, you can either leave the film on those areas or what I did, I just applied a clear nail polish on all these areas, on all those partial areas that were not diamond painted. So after I applied clear nail polish and once it got dry, those parts became smooth and non-sticky. It took me nine days to finish this work. I worked mostly in the evenings, two to three hours. Sometimes I did on the weekends, uh, on Sundays and during the holidays, Christmas, for two, three hours. So, in conclusion, I greatly enjoyed it since the color selection of the picture itself, the quality of the drills, adhesive, the canvas, everything is amazing. By the way, I also have a lot of extra drills left after I finished this project. Just look how many I have left, almost the full bags. Besides, this kind of diamond paintings can be used in both a decorative and a practical way. I gave my snow house LED diamond painting as a gift to my boss and she loved it. She uses it as a picture during the day and a night light during the night. I am planning to hang this one in my daughter's room and keep the lights on until she falls asleep. So, I recommend the seller and their LED paintings to everyone. I will also leave the link to the seller's website in the description box below. Look how beautiful it turned out. Look how sparkly it is. Everything is amazing. It looks just beautiful. Look at that. A real Christmas night. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy New Year and see you next time.